Yes, sir. What's up, everyone? Yes, Sinistrain01 back at you here. I thought that, you know what? I just was not satisfied with getting a 97% on this mission. So I decided that I was going to do a little bit more research and really, really dig in to find. And, uh, you know, one of my uh, one of my followers, uh, a great guy, uh, Anthony, uh, he laid it out to me that there was one guy that uh, did 100% on the PS3 version. So I actually uh, found it and saw what he did. Now, as you can see, what I just did right there was before the explosion. So if you get out of the duct way in enough time, actually, um, so you're at that first duct right when it explodes, and you can look and see the second uh, explosion. If you hurry up, you can actually get by before the characters are actually looking in your direction. So as you can see, that was what I did. And then I followed pretty much the same strategy, used the smoke to get past here. Um, instead of actually rushing into the room like I normally did, which never got me caught before, um, I decided to go ahead and take out the, the mine and just set up two smoke grenades uh, just to be safe because I really wanted to get this 100%. Um, so I decided to pretty much try to uh, do as much as I could to make sure that uh, it was going to be good to go. And then I'm going to use my two smoke grenades here, but I'm going to set them up one on the left and one on the right. Now what's really, really funny here is I thought I was going to have to do this part again because when I throw the second smoke, it actually goes into the next room. But uh, it was enough of a distraction with the first smoke that I was able to get by these guys right here as you can see. Now you can see that there's no smoke from the second one. It's in the room in there. So I just got so lucky right here that they weren't looking in my direction because now I'm actually in the smoke which is in the next room. and. Uh, the strategy pretty much for the next part has always been the same, um, taking out these guys. You don't have to do the sticky camera situations, you can actually take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this video play out and I will this see you guys pointless, at the Sam. very, you very end. You won't know end. what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Jetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. Mason and Randy have you wrapped around their fingers, Fisher. You're no more to them than any other weapon. Yourself the instrument of a policy you don't believe in, Sam. Walk away. I'm not sure about this.
Blood is thicker than water, and you and I have bled a lot together. You're trading your honor for their agenda. It doesn't have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. Well, on that, we agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Bishop. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory. Throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better, because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals, it's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You've only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. You're right. I wouldn't shoot an old friend. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's the end of it. Mission complete. Let's see if we can get our 100%. Mission complete. Press any button. As you can see, all the objectives are complete. I'm shutting my eyes and holy shnikes. 100% ladies and gentlemen, finally. So, as you guys know now that I have completed 100% of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, 100% stealth throughout the whole game. Very proud of that. And uh, just to uh, let you guys know, I'm going to go over here and show you all the separate missions. Uh, we got Lighthouse 100%, Cargo Ship 100%, The Bank 100%, Penthouse 100, Displace 100, uh, Hokkaido 100, Battery 100, Soul, which was the one that gave me a lot of trouble, but I finally got that 100%. So, and then of course Bathhouse 100%. Sweet. And then the last one is that one I can't pronounce 100%. So, thank you everybody uh, for giving me some courage to actually go back and finish it. I actually did it 100%. Now it's time to move on to Double Agent. And I cannot thank you guys enough. So, peace out, bitches.